The land of Twitch is a vicious place where only the strong survive. The good old days are nothing but a fragment of a memory. A barren wasteland with the kingdom of Lol W and the forces of Kek W being the only notable groups on this desolate map. Or so we thought. While the battle of Lol W and Kek W was underway, there was an evil lurking, festering, and it was just about ready to explode. An evil far greater than the dispute of Lol W vs Kek W. This is the story of the invasion of the Normans. The Normans were a force to be reckoned with. Their sheer numbers crushed anyone and anything in their way. Where did they come from, you say? No one knows. All we know is they came from a ship from an unknown island. Some say it was Lucky RNG, and others say it was an evil group of emotes who met up with the doctor, and that's how they were gifted with such persuasive abilities to build such a large emote army in such a small amount of time. The goal of the Normans was something unheard of in the land of Twitch. When new groups appear, they more than often not attempt to gain as many followers from the other emote communities, but the Normans came by ship with an already massive army, and their only goal was to eliminate anyone and anything Twitch related. Many members of the Norman faction even mocking the culture of the land of Twitch by purposely misusing the sacred emote language after slaughtering groups of emotes by the hundreds. A common enemy has been located between the Lol W and Kek W empires, and for the first time in Twitch history, the Lol W army and the Kek W faction set aside their differences to engage the invading force of the Normans. Deeming themselves the Twitch army, their goal was simple. Find and eliminate the leader of the Normans. Their leader was a man who, to be honest, doesn't even realize the impact he had on the land of Twitch. Dream. He studied the secret magic of the Doctor to give himself many advantages while he was gathering his group together. But his goal was to actually take over the small island of YouTube. In turn, his lieutenants begged him to allow them to travel to the land of Twitch to wreak havoc on all these emotes. He allowed them, but had one rule. If you catch anyone giving themselves an unfair advantage, kill them on sight. But sir, aren't you the student of the doctor? Don't you give yourself an unfair advantage every- Just follow that one rule, and you will be allowed to do as you please on that island. With the Twitch army getting a tip from a small nation off the coast of the land of Twitch, that the Normans were planning on invading their land to exterminate the Ayayas as a whole, the first battle was about to commence between the Normans and the Twitch army. The Normans once again proved themselves to be a relentless army that prides themselves in their numbers. Blow after blow, the Twitch army was pushed back closer to the nation of the Ayayas. When one of the generals of the Twitch army had a brilliant idea of recruiting one of the Ayaya swordsmen. All it cost was allowing the Weeps to win for the rest of the year. A tough deal to accept, but the Twitch army needed all the help they could get. The Nammers on the other side of the land would not be happy about this, but the Twitch army did what they needed to do. <laughs> With Ayaya swordsman being unleashed, the true power of the Weebs was highlighted in that moment, and further reinforced why the land of Twitch never allowed the Weebs to win. They were too strong for their own good. The single Ayaya swordsman was able to push the Norman force all the way back to the coast where they originally landed. A letter that was supposed to be handed off to the leader of the Normans was intercepted and read. Sir, we pushed back the Twitch army to take over this village to create a base of operations, but they sent out a warrior that was so weeped out it actually scared half of our army with how weird they were and reeked of a bio that I couldn't even put a name to. We had to retreat to our landing point and are requesting reinforcements immediately. The news spread and the Twitch army had momentum behind them. So much so that their next plan was to board their own ship and take the Norman leader face to face. The picture that no one in their right mind would say was real happened. Emotes that had lifelong rivalries grouping together to take down the invading Normans. This was the biggest battle the land of Twitch had ever had and it was about to end here and now. The army was given the location of the Norman base by the Twitch clip and VOD yoinkers. Banned from the land of Twitch years ago for yoinking content for their own gain. This was their redemption, to join back and become a part of the community again. Easily wiping out the remaining Norman forces in the base, the last stop was the room where Dream was. The Twitch army busted the door down and saw the leader of the Normans for the first time. 
Without hesitation, the army rushed the leader to take his life and end the reign of the Normans. But before they could even reach him in his throne, Dream exclaimed, I'm pause. The leader quite literally froze time and began to list off the new powers he had. So I have an AK-47, I can fly, I can Almost like when you were a child play fighting and you didn't want to lose. Fully mastering the arts of the doctor, Dream had surpassed the doc in being the biggest cheater ever, crowning himself the true leader of the Champions Club. A loud clap of thunder was heard, and in the distance, a recognizable song was heard. Who is that? Everyone in the room thought. The song grew closer, and closer, and closer, until it couldn't be. Is that... Dr. Disrespect? And he's not alone. The doc was summoned as his spot of being the leader of the Champions Club was being threatened by Dream. But he wasn't alone. The doc brought his right-hand man, Albert, to make sure Dream didn't have any tricks up his sleeves. The final battle between Dream and Dr. Disrespect commenced. And all the Twitch army could do is stand idle and watch as the two battled it out. Although Dream said he had all these special powers, Albert actually saw through his bluff and notified the Doc before the fight even started. The Doc hit Dream with a quick 1-2 to the head and knocked him out. Doc turned to the army of Twitch, smiled, and said he's with Team Papija. He hopped in his Lambo, and with Albert, they drove off into the sunset, leaving Dream with the Twitch army. They locked him up in a cell deep below the castle of Lol W, where he would stay for the rest of his life. The war between Lol W and Kek W never commenced, and the two groups became great friends after the invasion of the Normans. The land of Twitch was healing. Will the good old times ever return? Maybe not. But there is most certainly a peace in the land that was absent for many, many years. Well, class, how did you all like the movie? Oh, yeah, uh, real good. Weebs won or something like that. But anyway, where was Forsen in this?